I'm incredibly like open. Like I'll answer pretty much just about anything that people want to know about me. I just don't mind talking about it in the slightest. So. Do you know what this is for? <laughs> it's for a documentary so. on transsexual students in college. Okay. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So why are they videotaping yeah. us? If you just look at it. Yeah, because they're following me throughout the entire year. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh cool. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. I never would have thought it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, I never would have thought it at all. Sorry. Does that just mean that it does a test to make sure it's not? She doesn't really fit the uh, stereotypical transgender uh, person. I mean, I'm not even sure I understand what transgender really means. I mean, I've seen her in class, and you know, I've, I've seen her this semester only in this one class we have to go in. You know, I was just like, you know, checking her out like any normal person would, you know? This doesn't bother me at all. If you're scared of who you are and you're afraid of people, they're gonna take that from you. But like most, my experience is like, I've only had a couple of people who have just been like a bit sketchy about it. We're people, you can't just say, oh, you're a transsexual and have that describe you. You're a person and that's just an aspect about you. Where would they put it? What, you're my looking homework. for your homework? Um, my notebook and my, I don't and know, my dude. textbook. Um, shit. I mean, my Can binder... you take notes in another book? Well, yeah, but it has my homework in it that was due last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Casey's my best friend. I've been living with him for a couple years now, and he identifies as a trans man. Lucas and I have just been like, you know, hang out buddies ever since I met him. I'll go get the camera. All right. Seems kind of orange. Yeah, that's the filter. <laughs> that's better. That's gonna have to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I've often thought that, that what this documentary really needs is Casey and Lucas stoner moments. <laughs> walked right in front of the camera. I saw his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies. Get them. How long? They're all burning. They're burning right now. Oh god. <laughs> We're gonna go watch a movie now. Me and Casey have been through a lot together. Last year, Lucas and I were both co-chairs of Tangent. Tangent is basically a trans activist group on campus. We did a lot of education, we did workshops in a bunch of the houses. I mean, I definitely got asked at least every day by someone, can you explain this to me or will you do this panel? I realized that I was feeling that people were projecting an identity onto me that I didn't like. Even if it's a small, you know, a tiny little comment they make, I mean, it's there in your face every day. I mean, I, I think that we've also had a basic, ch you know, change from last year at least in how we think personally. <clears throat> you know, like this is a women's college, like this is not a place for men. You smell like familiar to me. Are you CKB? I guess. Oh my God. CKB and Old Spice, those are my smells. My ex, like my, the girl I lost my virginity to smelled like that. I don't feel like I necessarily have to say that I'm trans anymore because that's just not how I feel. Um, just to, you know, to validate other people that I'm different or abnormal, which is what I think that word does, you know, at least for me. 
next item on the agenda. Um, what do we want to start with? You. Me? Okay, so um, I'm really glad that all of you guys came tonight. Um, I wanted to let you all know in person that I will be resigning as co-chair following tonight's meeting. So that's what I wanted to say. Unfortunately, um, I also have to resign from Tangent at this point. Um, I've, I mean, my, my reasons are extremely personal and extremely emotional. Um, I wish I could articulate them better, but um, I guess the best thing to say right now is that um, after working in this organization extremely hard for three and a half years now, I can't answer questions about trans things anymore, and I don't even want to be seen as, you know, a trans person. It feels like there's something really disjointed going on here. Or is there like any steps we could take that would make it more comfortable? It's just gonna be a really intense process. Like I don't think there's any way around that. Will you guys still be involved in the organization at all? Or are you just need to be away for a while? Um politically, um, I'm just wondering if there's even a space on this campus to have an organization um, in which men take up a certain amount of space. Maybe we don't talk about those things um, out in the open a lot, um, but maybe we should have been, maybe we should be. I think that my politics will always be in the right place, but at the same time, it's not gonna be my focus. I'm much happier just being male because I'm trying to um, focus on, focus on myself.